Installation Guide for Heekswan PMP Kit. Preparation. Materials required in advance. The image above shows an example of the interface of the Hecky Intelligent Flight Controller. Remove the protective cover from the back of the aircraft. Open the back cover of the aircraft. First, disconnect the power supply to the video transmission module. The wire to be disconnected is the power supply wire for the video transmission module. Solder the video transmission module to the power supply wire. Soldering is complete. Remove the power supply wire from the video transmission module. Reinstall the power supply wire for the video transmission module. Thread the interface end of the video transmission module through the hole in the fuselage. Open the front protective cover of the fuselage. Remove the antenna of the video transmission module. Reconnect the power supply wire for the video transmission module. Thread the antenna connector through the front protective cover. Secure the video transmission module beneath the front protective cover. Close the front protective cover. You attach the antenna. Place the wire harness and antenna back inside the protective cover. Tighten the screws on the front protective cover. Remove the protective cover from the camera. Remove the front part of the fuselage. So remove the screws from the front part of the fuselage. The arrow indicates the camera connector hole. Thread the camera cable through the connector hole. Connect the camera. Insert the camera into the slot. Pay attention to the correct orientation of the camera. Close the camera protective cover. Tighten the screws on the camera protective cover. Line the camera with a hole in the front of the fuselage and tighten the front part of the fuselage. After installation, it should look like the example above. This is the SPUS signal wire. Disconnect the SPUS signal wire. Solder it to the receiver end. Soldering is complete. Reconnect the wire harness to the flight controller. Arrange the wire harness neatly. This is the GPS connection wire. Plug it into the GPS connector. Reconnect the GPS connection wire. Close the back protective cover. Tighten the screws on the back protective cover. Install the drone battery. Open the QGCZ Quick Guide Control app on your smartphone. Connect to the drone's built-in Wi-Fi module. Return to the main interface of the QGC app. Click on the top left icon. Click on the third option. Click on Communication Link. Select the TCP option. Click on Edit Below. Check the box for Auto Connect on Startup. Click on Confirm Below. Click on Connect Below. Click the top left icon to return to the main interface. Wait for the connection to be established. Connection established. Click the top left icon. Select the first option for settings. Click on sensors. Calibrate the compass by clicking on compass. Click confirm on the right side. Follow the instructions to calibrate the compass. Wait for the indicator box to turn yellow before calibrating. Start the calibration. Calibration in progress. Once it turns green, compass calibration is complete. Wait for the indicator box to turn yellow before calibrating. Start the calibration. Calibration in progress. Calibration complete. Wait for the indicator box to turn yellow before calibrating. Start the calibration. Calibration in progress. Calibration complete. Click confirm on the top right. Calibrate the airspeed by clicking on airspeed. Click confirm on the top right. Hold the front part of the airspeed tube. Blow into the airspeed tube when the progress bar on top does not move. Calibration complete. Control the drone to take off. Drone in flight.
drone landing.